uh, hi guys uh, welcome to my channel for another video uh, if you have not seen my previous video so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see the video uh, so we have built a, a crude operation on category right uh, we did build uh, create action then absurd action from absurd we can do elite, we can do edit and uh, insert and then we also build uh, delete function let me show you what it is so if you see here if you go to the category here the index function from index we can get the list from category from absurd we can do you know uh, insert and uh, edit and from uh, delete we can do delete uh, item from the category list so now what we're we going to do uh, we're going to implement uh, authentication and authorization because we want uh, prevent some user to perform all the action let's say we want admin to perform delete update insert but we want employee to perform only edit and then uh, when any employee edit the category we want to also generate logs and saying that uh, and in the log we can have employees information and then who deleted it who edited and then uh, who you know and the time of the edit time Okay, so we want to generate a logs in the in the computer. Let's say anyone edit it, right? We would go ahead and generate a logs in the computer, saying that uh, the employee name and then the time it was. Uh, to achieve the authorization and authentication, uh, what we have to do, we have to create a login page, and then we also have to create a registration because any user who wants to use our system, we want to log log into our system so then uh, so then they can uh, and then we can assign assign their you know um their uh, their roles uh, so then uh, with their roles we can uh, we can authenticate a user let's say if you are an employee you will only perform absurd and if you are an admin then you can perform everything or you know if you are only a viewer you can only view but cannot perform any action um any action of the application so uh, so to do that, I uh, will go ahead and uh, create a registration page and also create a you know uh, login page. And we do, you can see, we do have registration page in our application and then also login page in our, in our application. But what I would like to do, I would like to use custom uh, registration and then the login page. I don't want to use the default one, so I will go ahead and then you know uh, build a a new registration page and from there we will have our custom field and we can add more field to our registration and then once user registered then uh, we can give route to them to our uh, custom login uh, page uh, from there they can log into it all right thank you for watching the video see you in the next tutorial please do share like and subscribe the channel thank you bye